Hi guys. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of What We Know. In this episode, we're going to show you around our caravan and talk about our storage, organization, and any modification tips and tricks that we have and we use in our van. Anything that we reckon we'll find useful for you to pack your van up if you're going to go away. Um, a lot of them are only simple, but things that we find really handy for packing our van to live in full time. A lot of them are super easy to do and super cheap. We haven't done anything that's like, you know, majorly expensive. Because we're tight asses. <laughs> so we just help, hope that this helps you guys out. And um, yeah, if you have any comments about how we can do things better, let us know. Drop them in the comments below. <laughs> anyway, let's get stuck into it. We'll show you around the van and anything we use to pack it up. All right, let's go. What we know. Travelling! Australia! Caravanning! Camping! What we know! Right, we'll start off in the kitchen, um, obviously where we spend most of our time and where most of your stuff actually gets stored. So, one thing we have found super useful is these things. Standard squeeze bottles. They are plastic, lightweight, uh, we put all our liquids, we take it out, take all our stuff out of glass bottles or cordial we tip into them or your alcohol. Um, they're pretty simple, they just screw up there, you put a shot's worth of whatever you want into it. So, nip of cordial, vodka, alcohol, anything really. Um, and they're very slim line. They don't weigh much at all and they stack fairly well together. So, you can fit quite a lot, a few of them in a small amount of space so we have got a heap of these but i just got these ones and we, these ones here just store we just store them down in this cupboard and they all just stack side by side um yeah so they're they're a really cool idea this standard squeeze um like we got them ones online, I think, but I know there's a few fishing shops that sell them. Um, you can get them at all different places, but yeah, they're a really cool thing. Uh, then, another thing we have lots of in the van is this stuff. Fusion Lock. Um, we get all ours from Bunnings, but these things are absolutely amazing for storage. Little storage hack to... They basically just you get a little pump, put them on the wall, Suck it six times, hook them on, and they are solid as a rock. Like we've been everywhere with these things, and they don't even look like moving. And you can take them off, move them, put them anywhere you want. So uh, we've got they've got baskets, they've got hangers, they've got tower racks, which we'll show you later. They've got hooks, they've got um, dunny brush holders. We don't have that, but they have everything. So they, that whole range can be found at Bunnings, but yeah, Fusion Lock. Um, highly recommend these, that way you don't have to screw into your van and whatnot. Um, so yeah, they're way at the top of our list of things that are pretty cool to have in your van. Then also, uh, we use this knife block. Um, we got it at like a home shop or one of those kitchen shops. It's just two screws into the wall and then it slides on and they're magnetic. And these knives have been bounced over everywhere, haven't had one fall off. Put them on and stick your knife there. Um, yeah, they're super cool. So we've seen, we copy that off other um, caravan as we've seen, but yeah, really, really like that idea. That way it frees up some of your drawers and just gives you a bit of extra space to store your stuff. You can make yourself another junk drawer because everyone knows we need plenty of them in a van. Um, another little thing we got, this was just from Kmart. Um, it's a, it's actually a bath mat with the got little suction caps on the bottom, but just a black pebble look. And we, we've got one to shape to sit in the bottom of our sink, so we can put all our stuff on it. If we have got a bit of stuff when we go to travel, it'll sit in there. Won't scratch up the black because obviously everything's black, so I won't scratch them up. And yeah, that's been really, really cool. Um, something we weren't sure about when we put it in, but yeah, it's been, it's been wicked. We've really, really like that. Um, then another little space saving storage sort of hack is we actually utilize the space in our griller and the oven we don't have an oven but we used to do it in our oven in our old van but 
we store all our trays and whatnot in the grill. It gets them out of the way, it gives you a bit more space in your cupboards without having to store them. So just another tiny little thing that um, it comes in super handy. But yeah, so well, the other thing we do um, when we go shopping is take all your um, boxes of cereal and stuff out of the boxes at the shopping centre. Throw all your, anything you can unwrap and undo and get rid of the rubbish and leave it at the shopping centre. Saves you one, having it stored in your cupboards and two, having to get rid of the rubbish later. So if you're going off grid or you know where near bins, you don't have to try to carry that out with you. But yeah, we try to do as much unpacking as we can at the shopping centre as soon as we get back from doing our shopping, obviously. Um, yeah, so just a, just a little thing to keep in mind. And then we'll move on to our plates and knives and utensils and all that sort of stuff. We, um, we picked really lightweight plastic um, bowls and plates, but you can get bamboo. Um, we don't use any crockery or um, breakable products in our van. Like everything's either this light plastic or must have the old Yeti cups. Um, this is obviously Haley's, but we have two each, which thinking about it now, we probably could have just done with one because we have all our hot and cold drinks all in the one cup. Lightweight, don't break. Um, they can bang against each other. There's no chance of smashing. Um, and being aluminium, they're just really lightweight. So, And they stack pretty well together, so they don't take up a whole heap of space. But yeah, so as far as um, the only glass thing we do have is this one cup, which was a pretty long the boy, so it's got a bit of sentimental value. That's the only reason it made the cup, but um, yeah, Yeti cups and just your lightweight um, bowls and plates and stuff. So well, we highly recommend not taking any sort of crockery or anything that's going to break. One, it's heavy, and two, it'll make a mess if you bounce it and smash it. So, I think that's probably just about it for the kitchen. We'll, um, oh, the only other thing, this is another fusion lock. Just a hand sanitizer, hand washing. Um, you can put it anywhere you want. We've got it just inside the door. Um, to get in the door and do our hands. But, and then, oh, actually, no, there is one more thing. These pockets, um, 100%. Any spare space you've got, we recommend trying to get yourself a pocket. They're just good for putting, we keep cameras, sunnies, all sorts of stuff in this one. Just stuff that's easy to access just inside the door. Um, yeah, these pockets, uh, these ones come standard with our van, but you can get them made by quite a few companies, so they're really cool. Light, well, they, one, they're lightweight, and two, you can store plenty of crap in them. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, that's just about it for the kitchen area. So I might flick over to Ailey, and she can run you through the bedroom. All right. Over to the bedroom. So in our wardrobes, a great tip is when you're building your caravan is to get shelves rather than the hanging space uh, in your wardrobe. So I'll give you a quick look at ours. What we've done in our cupboards is, and I can't take com any compliments for this. I've found this on a Facebook page, uh, Caravan Storage. These felt containers are from Kmart. I think they're about like seven bucks each and we've cut them to fit. So basically we roll up our clothes, we sit them in there and I can fit two back in our cupboards and we, they squeeze in nicely. They're so easy to pull in and out, but I can fit two, two, two and we roll our clothes up. So nice, lightweight, easy to store our clothes. And up above, we've got the same. So I've got three lightweight felt containers up there. Um, also in the bedroom area, we, and I found this as well on Facebook, so I can't claim it, but what we do is we have an extra basket down the bottom here. And that just holds any extra shoes, clothes, anything to keep the stuff off the lounge or in the common areas. Now what is that basket do? That is a, <laughs> it is a bike basket from Kmart and all I've done is put some felt, um, oh, just some felt stuff. I've got sticky stuff from Bunnings and popped it behind it so it doesn't rub on the bed. So it stays in place, nice and tight and yeah, great, as I said, great for extra storage. So 
I'll just show you how these felt containers come. Um, they come like this with little handles. Obviously, we couldn't fit them into our um, cupboards like that. So all we did is get some scissors and cut them down. And then you can cut little holes in it for extra handles if you wish. Also, in the bedroom, there's one more thing that we have is another fusion lock, as we love the fusion lock um, product. <laughs> it's from Bunnings, yeah. Um, and we've got storing our um, remotes, just our TV remotes, next to the bed. It hasn't come off. They've stayed in there um, really good. Um, and another fusion lock hack as well is the hooks where I've got my hats um, stored up there and I just hook them up and they stay. There's a few times we've come in and my hat's been on the bed or on the floor but other than that they stay there in place. And I think that's it for the main bedroom but we'll swing over to the kids room and I'll show you what we've done in there. Alright, in the kids bedroom and drawers what we've done is just got little dividers for their drawer so come in and have a look what we've got here is just little plastic dividers and they clip together pretty easy you cut them to fit they were also found at Kmart and what we do is section off the drawers and as you've seen in the drawer there we've got sections for shirts shorts uh, jumpers, undies, socks, um, we just roll it all up and sit it in and yeah the, the kids clothes all fit into this one drawer. Um, I find that sectioning off the drawer has been really good in keeping your drawers and clothes nice and neat for the kids so. Alright while I'm in this section this is where our laundry is as well and if you've watched our caravan tour video which we've only just put up last week we'll put a little link up the top here for you. Um, we show you this in more detail but this cupboard here behind me is our laundry cupboard and what we do in here some of our hacks is that we have a soft laundry bag so this soft laundry bag and we put our dirty washing in and we fold it up on top of our washing machine here we've also got a fusion lock basket in there as well where we put our laundry detergent and also in the top of our washing machine there's a little basket here that we've just got some extra spare pegs um, just sit nicely inside there. Now when our laundry bag does get full we just put any extra dirty laundry. We can just unclip this um, and I put the dirty laundry in there as well for storage. We've had to do that a couple of times until we found a laundry mat or some water. Um, as we all know water is a gem <laughs> and our kids are gross and use too many <laughs> dirty clothes we also just store our broom in beside there as well um, and it all stays in nice and neat we've never had any issues whilst traveling with that there so i'll pass you on to daniel again now to show you some cupboard storage in the kitchen and the bathroom Right, well, uh, as you know, there's a million and one ways to stack a cupboard, but a few things that we've found pretty handy is, and I'll just swing this, there's a little act for you to create more space. Get a table you can move around if you get you're getting a van built, but up in this cupboard we've got just a little white storage thing from Kmart. Again, most of our stuff is from Kmart, but one thing that has been pretty cool are these little foldable shelves. They also are from Kmart, they way bugger all. And they, if you haven't got shelves built into your cupboards already, they basically give you a shelf like to, and halve your cupboard up. So they're a pretty cool thing. They're just plastic with little aluminium legs and they fold down. If you don't want to use them, you can store them out of the way pretty easy until you do get around to using them. So, yeah. um, What have we got in that storage container, Daniel? Oh, uh, in this we've just got all our um, pots and pan lids and a little plate and the tops for our the, actually there's another little hack that we got the um, frying pans and stuff that we brought actually come with plastic lids so when it all cools down we can use them as containers so we don't have to um, carry a whole heap of Tupperware with us too so we and use those sorry to interrupt those pots are induction pots as well so yeah. they work both on our gas and induction cooker um, yeah so and they're really cool but yeah they're um, just plastic lightweight don't doesn't, they don't bash around or anything so they're cool but yeah then I'll swing over and 
the thing, something we found out here, I'll just get this table back out of the way. Something we found it out, you know, that long ago actually, was just this little square plastic um, material container. It was actually a cup container, so it had dividers in it, um, which we at one point did have our cups in it, but now we just saw all of our cans and canned goods and spices and anything that's going to roll around and bash around. And it fits perfectly in our cupboard and um, doesn't scratch, doesn't cause any mess and everything's neat and tidy but if you do um if you do have things that are going to scratch your cupboards this stuff just foam matting for like a cupboard liner we've got them in all of our cupboards that we don't have something down like that so no one's that just stops stuff sliding around and causing a mess yeah so like i said there's a million ways you can pack your cupboard a million different um things but they're just a few things that we found really really cool we've tried and tested of quite a lot of them and they're the ones that have stuck so and in the microwave here we um have one of these things which is cool they're from navigator um you can get them online arb sell them but this is the microwave buddy so you use it to store your microwave plate in it you put it in that and zip it up we don't have any at the moment obviously because we're stationary but and then it just fits back in there that way your um, plate doesn't bounce around and bang around and smash anything. So, yeah, Navigator's got a heap of cool stuff if you want to check it out. Um, anyway, I'll swing into the bathroom and just show you a couple of things in the bathroom that uh, we have found super cool and make life a whole lot easier, especially if you're traveling full time. So, the first one is um, the, the towels. We've, we use Will and Win just because we did. Not affiliated in any way, shape or form. There are a heap of different brands. I think there's some of the Tessellate and there's quite a few of them, but they're just a lightweight, quick, quick dry, um, and they just fold up ridiculously small. So like we've got, we store, these are all our beach towels. Uh, they just sit up here, just in a little felt container, but like they literally roll up to nothing. So we've got, four up there we can fit all eight of these towels will quite easily fit in that container so um, these are a super good idea and they dry really quickly so you don't always you don't have damp buddy towels and stuff lying around for too long um, they're also in here just more fusion lock just everything up out of the way and um, easily accessible but safe as houses but the main thing i do want to show you in here which is Pretty darn cool. Is these are from Bunnings? They're silicon to the wall. Uh, they will not once they're on there, they're going nowhere. And we just keep all our shampoos and body washes and stuff in them, uh, along with our other storage um, fusion lock thingy. But yeah, these are super cool. So the Bunnings, I think they're about seventy bucks and maybe thirty bucks or something. But they just stick on with silicon and they are red eyes. So that way you don't have to carry chunky bottles. We just buy a big enough bottle to fill this up when it's empty and throw it away and we don't have to worry about carting bottles around with us. So super good space saving hack and just one more thing to stop rattling around in your van. So, you know, that's the bathroom and um, pretty much inside of the van, but we'll jump outside. We've just got a couple of things outside that we find really, really useful. So let's swing out there and we'll check them out. Right, uh, one thing that we do use all the time out here, which everyone knows that the buddy awning straps are a pain in the ass. So we just got this thing from Navigator, another Navigator product, like I said, we got heaps of them. But basically you just get your awning strap, it slides into the runner on your awning and you just pop your, you can probably get a bit more neat about it, but that's really not my way. I just get there and stuff it in there and then once it's in there it doesn't come back out and it's not in the way there's if you've got little people that hang around your van they're not going to keep grabbing it and pulling on it so that's super cool just nice and neat just out of the way and um i think they're about 20 bucks or something just don't lose them like i keep doing all your and they're quite expensive but and then we'll swing over this way we've just got one more thing out here the last little thing that we have that um, we use all the time is these dirty gear bags um, like Haley said in our full van video we do talk about this a bit but um, we use a TJM one there's 101 of them on the market but 
just good for one if you don't want to have a bin inside you can just put a bag in this and use it as your bin um, we store all our wet hoses and stuff in it the garden hoses or the water hoses and um, salvage hoses if they're too wet um, wet mats and stuff but yeah no, so these are really cool just a good way of getting rid of all your stuff you don't want anywhere else you can store them in here um, but yeah this TJM one's been really cool but yeah other than that everything's pretty standard outside here all right guys that's our storage hacks organization tips and tricks and any modification tips and tricks that we have in our caravan yeah just things that we use and hopefully you can implement or they help you out but um, like we said before if you've got any that you use that uh, you think that we're failing on let us know drop them in the comments because we're 100 percent keen to Okay to learn. Yep, we're always looking for new things to yeah, do, so. <laughs> new tips and tricks. So yeah, it'd be good if we could reorganise the cupboard for about the fortieth <laughs> time. But anyway, <yeah, laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to leave that one here. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Really helps us out. Um, give, <laughs> give us a, a thumbs like. up if you like <laughs> this episode, and turn the notifications on so you can keep track of all our upcoming stuff. We got some bangers coming. So, but yeah, appreciate all of you, and we're out of here. See ya. Bye.